Welcome to A Shot of Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the song thrush. The song thrush is a medium-sized relative of the blackbird, with a wingspan of 34 centimetres and growing to weigh just over 80 grams. They are brown over their wings, backs and heads, with cream-coloured chests mottled with darker brown patches. When looked at closely, these brown patches are actually the shape of upturned arrowheads. Like most birds, they can turn up pretty much anywhere, but their favourite habitats are woodlands, farmlands, parks and gardens. They particularly rely on open areas for foraging and wooded areas for nesting. Song thrushes are omnivores, eating worms, insects and other invertebrates throughout the spring and summer, but turning to berries and fruits in the winter when these are in short supply. They are very good at extracting snails from their shells by repeatedly bashing them on a hard surface, often leaving a pile of empty shells in their wake. Song thrushes start nesting in March when the males claim territories and advertise for mates by using their varied but repetitive call, which I'll demonstrate later in this video. Once a pair has formed, the female will create a cup-shaped nest, usually among vegetation. This nest is quite distinct as it's built with grass, twigs, moss and roots, but then the inside is lined with mud. Once the nest is complete, the female will lay between three and five bright blue eggs that measure 31 millimeters in length. Only the female will incubate these eggs or brood the resulting chicks. They take between 13 to 15 days to hatch and once the chicks do hatch out, both parents will bring food to the nest to feed them. At just 14 days old, the chicks are ready to fledge and after this, the male usually takes full responsibility for feeding and teaching them whilst the female begins to prepare for the next nesting attempt. At around five weeks old, the young birds will be self-sufficient and will gradually disperse from their parents' territory. Each year, song thrushes nest two or three times, often using the same nest throughout the season and they normally stop nesting around August time. They are only monogamous for one breeding season and will often pick a new mate every year. Song thrushes are found across the whole of the UK except for in mountainous areas and are also native across almost all of Europe apart from southern Greece and Italy. They were introduced to Australia and New Zealand in the late 1800s and although they are still found across a lot of New Zealand, their distribution is now very limited in Australia. In some of their northern European range, song thrushes migrate towards the Mediterranean for the winter, but in Western Europe they are resident all year round. In the UK their numbers have declined by around 50% since the 1960s, but over the past 30 years this has stabilised and has even shown signs of slowly increasing. There are currently around 1.3 million song thrush territories here. They have an average life expectancy of 3 to 4 years, with the oldest known song thrush surviving to 13 years and 9 months of age. A song thrush's song is made up of a variety of short musical phrases repeated 2 to 4 times. Here is an example. Now if you made it this far, you should probably now watch this video about the blackbird. And if you like that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.